Let's do some simple tests on some metals that are commonly found in coins. Aluminum, iron, nickel, copper, zinc, and silver. Let's see which metals are attracted to a strong magnet. Aluminum is not. Oh wow, but iron sure is. So is nickel. Copper is not attracted. Neither is zinc. Silver also is not attracted to the magnet. We're now going to test to see if some of these metal samples are attracted to a moving magnetic field. To do this, we'll push down hard on a metal sample and pull up really fast. We see that aluminum is attracted to a moving magnetic field when we do this test. So is copper. Zinc doesn't seem to work very well. It's not a very good conductor of electricity. And silver, which is a good conductor of electricity, shows a strong response to this dynamic magnet test. These tests may be used to differentiate between pennies minted in different years. A 1943 penny that's made of steel, which is mostly iron, is attracted to the magnet. A 1975 penny that's made mostly of copper is not. And a 2016 penny that's made mostly of zinc also is not. However, the 1975 penny, which contains the good conductor copper, is affected by a moving magnetic field. The 2016 penny made of zinc, which is not as good of a conductor as copper, is not strongly affected by the moving magnetic field. Silver has the highest electrical conductivity of all of the elements. Because of this, silver is particularly responsive to the dynamic magnet test. This means that even very large coins will respond to the dynamic magnet test if they have a high proportion of silver. This coin doesn't seem to have silver. Oh, well, this coin is probably made of iron or nickel. This coin does respond, so it's probably made of silver. Same with this one. This one as well. And this one probably does not contain any silver. Use caution when using this test, though. This particular coin is made of aluminum, and it's very light. Aluminum is also a pretty good conductor. These two in combination make this aluminum coin respond very strongly to this dynamic magnet test. It is a good conductor and it's very easy to move because it's so light. I hope you enjoyed this video that went over the magnetic properties of some metals found in coins. In closing, here's a question for you. Which of these two coins probably contains more silver? I look forward to seeing your answer in the comments.